Good morning, Obi. Good morning dolls, good morning, top of the morning to you. It's a brand new day and it's a good day to be alive. We're so grateful and we are so blessed. My name is Salani, also known as Melanin of SA on all my social media platforms, which is Instagram and TikTok. So please follow me on there. So I don't really have a plan this weekend, but I'm going to just wing it. We will see how it goes you know december who busy we are here we are there we coming we're going the house is full so yeah we'll just go with the vibes but yeah we just woke up and today we are it's ovi's birthday my baby's three my tongue Ach, i'm such a blessed mom god has covered us throughout this journey of three years of good happy life thank you god so today we're going to have a photo shoot with Ovi and his cousin, which is pretty much his brother. They pretty much twins. <laughs> we're going to have a photo shoot and then we're going to also go um, to Empress Palace later. So yeah, we're having a chilled birthday, nothing too hectic. I'm going to get them ready now for the photo shoot and yeah, I'll take you through the day. Let's go. We are up and ready to go. I'm not putting on makeup today because it's very hot. But I'm looking decent. I'm with my mom. <laughs> There's the kitty. Say hi. hi. <laughs> There's mommy. Mommy of the YouTube. Our mom. So we're going to go to Ferndale to a uh, studio where we're going to do the photo shoot. So, I'll show you guys the place and I'll tell you all about it. There's, yeah, some special, I'm not sure, but let's go and I'll catch you there. Says Fikile, see Fikile. We are in Randburg at Vision Studios. Come, guys. Okay, go out that side. We're at Vision Studios. We're gonna start with. What to shoot with the boys? Hi, boys. Come say hi. Say hi. <laughs> they shy. Let's take the big bag. This is in Randburg in Ferndale. I'll tell you all about it just now. Come, guys, let's go. I think we need to click on Vision Studios. Yeah. There it is. Johnny Vully Gates. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. It's Solani. I'm coming to Vision Studios. Um, please pull the black screen page and come upstairs. Okay, no problem. Can I give up? Yeah. My birthday. Hey, tell them it's my birthday. Say yes. 
<laughs> so we're just waiting to go inside. We just seated for a bit. They are still finishing up some other people's. So we're gonna go in now. now and I'll show you behind the scenes. I'm not taking any pictures. It's for Gogo and her cubs today. It's all about them. I'm not taking any, so I'm makeup free. I love it here, yo. I love it here for makeup free because wow, the heat is crazy. I'll show you inside. But, but, Kesan, guys, we didn't even get to do the photo shoot because it's bad. Everything is bad. Their bookings are terrible. We booked, but we are standing here for an hour and a half. We're making a booking, but we are waiting an hour and a half. So I just walked out and I'm going to take the kids to Papachino's to go play. Hey, say hi. Let's go. Come. All right. <laughs> Come, Mumu. Birthday boy is sleeping. We just got to Papachino's in four ways. To tell you could they ruin my boy's birthday. Honestly. Oh wow, it looks so nice. It's renovated. Let me show you. It looks so different. Nice. Mumu, are you excited? <laughs> it looks pretty. It's the most beautiful time of the year Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer I should be playing in the winter snow But I'ma be under the mistletoe I don't wanna miss out on the holiday Do you have a table for four? For four? Yes. Side, side. Uh, any side? Any side? This side is fine yeah. Alright, thank you But I can't stop staring at your face I should be playing in the winter snow but I'ma be under the mistletoe Oh, 
Mädels. Pizza. Pizza Sip. Pizza Sip. Yeah, two of them. Let me check, okay? Yeah. Put it on. Oh, your pizza looks delicious, guys. It's hot, Ovi. <laughs> Patience, okay? It's still hot. This is our baby's work. We just got our food, so we're gonna eat up and then we have to then rush home, possibly change. Um, if there's still time, I'll just go home and change. If there's no time, I'm gonna have to just go just like this. But yeah, hopefully, I'll go change. And then we're gonna head out to Emperor's. But these boys haven't slept in. They haven't slept, so they'll probably sleep on our way there. But shame. I'm so sad that they couldn't do the photo shoot. But I'm also like, actually, it wasn't worth our time. The planning there is so off. They make appointments just for you to wait for an hour and i was like no i'm not doing it so what they basically do is um their marketing strategy is offering you like a free photo shoot and then they give you i think four pictures i think i'm not sure um and then the rest if you want more pictures you'll pay for the pictures and you will most likely want more pictures and end up paying for more because they take quite a lot of pictures so yeah they approached me and i thought okay that's like you know a cute photo shoot opportunity but then when i got there and i realized that uh their planning is really off i got there i think about five minutes before 12 so i did not understand why i'm still waiting fine i was patient enough to wait for 30 minutes 45 minutes and then when it got to an hour i was like mm -mm. i was like no honey i'm not waiting for more than an hour for free pictures <laughs> no so i will book a proper photo shoot for my boys with a professional photographer who's not gonna do that and then yeah we'll have a photo shoot with granny and the kids on another day so i'm gonna eat now and then move on to our next itinerary and i think emperor's palace is gonna be nice they've got all sorts of stuff for christmas so if you want to take your kitties out and give them that festival experience take them to empress they have a whole christmas village they also have one in monte casino but i really liked what i saw yeah yeah empress uh, palace so i will take you guys through and we're gonna have fun i saw even adults enjoy it they really do enjoy being there so How's your fish?
stomach is full or he's still. We just finished eating, we're going home. Oh, 
hi to the chip chips. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Yay! Good morning. Good morning, dolls. It's a brand new day and it's a good day to be alive. We are so grateful. Last time I saw you guys, it was yesterday. Let me just lower the volume. I'm watching baby on borders it's so interesting last time i saw you was yesterday when we were at the christmas village at empress palace um my thoughts ne? the christmas village uh yago empress palace i mean it's it's a very nice concept very very nice concept i think um, any child will enjoy I think adults also enjoyed the Christmas village it is so nice there is Little Red Riding Hood there's Pinocchio there's um, I don't know a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> um, princesses and fairy tales so it was really a nice experience I really liked it and the place is huge like there's a lot a lot to see so you will definitely enjoy it but i think the planning is a bit poor they there was just it's just poor there was just also a lot of people unnecessarily honestly i think they had to really limit the amount of people that they allow so that everyone can get like a good experience but definitely go take your kiddies there i will definitely recommend it for you to take your children there guys this december i am really in my para era <laughs> i haven't done my hair haven't done my nails i've had these nails i don't know if you watch my channel you'll know i did these nails for our year end function the first week of december and they are still looking cute but i need to change them and maybe go for like a red or something so i actually wanna just share with you guys this morning what i got from like uh, a random store i even forgot the name my friend was actually on the side and she was purchasing stuff and she told me she's like listen you have to see these because she knows i love anything gold i love homeware and i love drinking my tea so i love having like nice trays and stuff so they had these trays on special so i got i got this which is like a a peeler a veggie peeler and of course, it's Golide. <laughs> I love it. Just matches the aesthetics. I was actually looking for a gold scissor, but I can't find it. But I did find it on Shein. And then I bought these storage. Oh. I'm gonna break my nails. They are still holding on. They need to hold on for a couple more days, so let me not damage them any further. Then I've got this storage thingy majiggles. This I'm gonna use for my bathroom. So all the cosmetics that I have in my bathroom cabinet, I'm gonna place them in here so they're nice and neat. So I only bought two for now because I just wanted to also make sure of the size before I buy more. So I'm definitely going to buy more. Um, I think this was like 50 Rand or 60 Rand if I'm not mistaken and it's quite strong hey it's quite strong and I like the detailing here I like this this is nice it's got little clouds here how cute I don't know if these mean anything <laughs> but this is quite pretty so I initially wanted the clear ones but um yeah i couldn't get the clear ones they were sold out so i've got two i need two more and then i've got two trays so the first tray looks like this 
I got this tray. Also has this cute detailing here. I really love this detailing here. And it has a gold lining. Oh, I like it. Very cute. And then it comes with these handles. So you just obviously place the handles over there. And they also gave you a screw to screw them on. And then I also got another tray. I've got a round one. Pretty, pretty. Also with the gold trimming beautiful so i love my tea biscuits or when i'm snacking to have like a cute tray aesthetic you can also use this maybe as a placing tray to place stuff on it you know you can do a lot with these trays it's not limited to just for food and all of that you can use it to put your perfume on this um you can put your makeup on it you can use it in the kitchen put your spices so you can really do a lot and then it also comes with the handles that you're gonna put on there so i thought i should share that i literally spent i think 350 rand for all of these things and the quality is really really not that bad these are plastic they are not glass this is plastic um, I actually thought it was glass, but I'm not mad about it because the chances of glass breaking is really high. So I'm not mad about it. I think I can share with you guys also my shoes. I actually got shoes guys on Black Friday and I was meaning to unbox them, but I just could not have the time or the opportunity. So I thought, let me just do that now since we got time. And then I also got my sheet in order that I'm gonna share with you guys as well. I don't know when, I don't wanna make promises, but girl, the she in order is there. It would be nice to share it because I like to show mommies who've got toddlers, you know, especially for boys, what you can get. But anyway, let me show you what I got on Black Friday. You would have seen these shoes on my last video. One of my last videos. I got these. <laughs> I love loafers guys. Loafers are really my vibe. I love loafers because one, they are definitely my style. Two, I can also wear them to work. You know, so casual but also formal type of vibe. So I've got these loafers. How pretty. These are got from poetry stores. I got them on the Black Friday special. I think the normal price is a thousand three hundred and ninety-nine, and I got them for around eight hundred somewhere there. So these I had to get. So these are similar to my other loafers that I got off on Shein, but same but different. Okay, it's not the same. These are closed, and the other ones are open. Yeah. <laughs> So they are definitely not the same. And these you can wear them up and down, like dress them up and dress them down. I like them so, so much. Definitely my style. And then I've got loafers. It's giving designer. <laughs> One thing about me, I'll see designer items that I like. And then I'll check the price and I'm like, is it really worth the coins is it really because you know with some designer items i really i honestly love designer guys i won't even lie them not necessarily the branding but a lot of the styles um but because financially i feel like it doesn't always make sense and i feel like material things are material things especially knowing me i wear something once or twice then i'm bored so I'm very careful when I buy expensive things, very careful. So I saw this shoe and I loved it, I loved it. And I remember I used to own a similar pair from Woolies that I gave away. So this definitely replaces that pair. This is, huh, look at this shoe. It's giving cute go for mom. 
cute sport mom these are so pretty and they smell so good the material is so so good like they literally look exactly like the shoe that i'm telling you about if i can get it for if i can get it i'll put it up but these are so pretty i did take i went one size up which was not necessarily um necessary for these shoes because my actual size would have fit but with she in shoes i really do just go one size up in case but i love these these are very pretty i'm gonna style them so nicely on holiday guys they look exactly the same eh? the only difference is the branding like i can't can't kill myself i cannot come kill myself and then the last shoe i'm going to share with you guys is from polo polo i got these off uh superbulous they had them on black friday for 40 to 50 percent if i'm not mistaken so this was a good buy these was the original price i think is 800 rand and then i got them i think for 500 480 somewhere there these are so pretty look at that pretty look at this detail this is like orange the orange and the brown really complement each other and these remind me of the um, what's that shoe now is it the Clio yeah I don't know there's a um, designer brand as well that have a similar design like this this is so cute and i tried them on they fit so comfortably they are perfect for holidays and these were really a good buy so that's it for the shoe haul and these you can still find off of superbellus you'll definitely definitely find them so darlings i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do today um we're supposed to drive to pretoria today and start preparing for christmas and all of that um but yeah today i'm really resting i did want to go do my nails but i can't find an appointment i can't find an opening slot to do my nail so yeah today we're gonna relax get christmas out of the way and then start preparing for durban we are taking over to Durban. It's gonna be his first time at the beach, at a real beach. So this Christmas, um, sorry, this, um, what is this now? This festive season is really about Ovi. It's his world and we are just living in it. So yeah, we're taking him to KZN to just have New Year's Day and yeah. So I will catch you guys on the next video. So sorry that this video is just like wishy-washy. There's a lot going on. But yeah, I think I also just want to keep the momentum. I don't want to let, you know, lack of content curation <laughs> deter me and make me feel like, oh, but I need to be able to do this to be like, no, I am shooting my life as it happens. Um, if there's anything going on, there is. If there's nothing going on, there's not. If I plan something and it doesn't happen, that's still fine. It's life, you know. I'm not going to let anything make me feel bad or, you know, make me feel like I can't continue vlogging. Um, like the photo shoot. I was so excited to take my nephew and Ovi for a photo shoot and it just didn't happen. And I was just like... You know but god being god when we got to the uh, christmas uh, village there was actually a, a photo booth type of thing we were able to take some pretty pretty pictures so i'm still happy at least we did get some family pictures in and then yeah i still booked them in um you know a proper photo shoot so that yeah i can at least 
for the because those people bump but it's fine things happen thank you guys for watching i truly truly appreciate you please remember to comment like and subscribe by clicking the button below leave me a comment let me know what you think let me know what you want to see i also put up a question poll guys on my youtube asking you to ask me any question regarding like my journey on youtube for the past has it been four months three to four months yeah so ask me anything like youtube related and yeah i'd like to um answer some questions and i'd like to hear from you thank you so much for watching comment like and subscribe please pretty please share the video with your friends and i'll see you on the next video bye